Hey everyone, Paul here. How's it going? Um, I'm just doing this quick tip video uh, for YouTube free uh, to announce something that's just become available um, in Blender and it's going to make our lives a heck of a lot easier, especially if you are fans of using Eevee for toon shading. Now, of course, this is working in the latest release of the Blender 2.80 beta. How do you get that? Well, all you got to do is go to the uh, Blender website, click on download, try Blender 2.8 beta, and because I'm on a Windows machine, this is what's come up by default for me, uh, and you download the version that you want. This is the January 6 build, apparently. Um, there's one for Mac OS X and Linux. And the thing is, uh, that freestyle now sorta kinda works. <laughs> How about that? Um, and it doesn't require a lot of um, effort. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how to set it up and what are the pros and cons of using Freestyle in Eevee that you don't get in Cycles because Eevee treats uh, even its passes a little bit differently. So what I've got here is the file slightly modified that I release with the free Eevee shader. Now if you go to that video there will be an, another link in the show description as well as this uh, video description uh, that will send you to the page where you can download both the old and this version 2 uh, file which has one very um, big difference and that is it doesn't have both scenes it's only got the single scene but it does have two render layers to show you what it looks like with and without freestyle so let's go ahead and enable it first okay so what you have to do is in your render settings that's the first button up here um, we're in the EV um, render engine you enable freestyle okay now I've just drag this to the top of the stack just for um, for ease of viewing here. And one other thing that you have to do is to make sure that film is set to transparent. Now, this is a nice to have. Um, I'll tell you why in a moment because we're going to do a little bit of compositing at the end of this video. But by setting it to transparent means that all your objects that are free of any background are going to render with an alpha, which is really good for compositing on a background. Now, if you don't have that, uh, compositing can become a little bit problematic. So I'll get to that in a moment. All right, that's all you need to do. Okay, so next I've created two renders. The first render here is a straight render with no freestyle whatsoever. Now, uh, if you go down to your view layer tab, you'll notice that in this particular version, I've actually disabled freestyle. Now. This becomes very important because if you have more than one view layer, you can enable or disable or add more uh, layers of freestyle if you wish. And in this case, on the main layers, I've disabled it entirely. So if you find that you've got a line set there, you can just hit this minus and take it out. That does not affect this with freestyle uh, render pass that I've done, uh, or view layer now as they're called, which has its line style and the default uh, pen, which I've done just a couple of things to. Um, I've just added um, a modifier on the thickness, which is a long stroke, which is this curve, which gives us, uh, as you'll see, a little bit more of an inking look. Okay, so how about that? Okay, so I've also rendered this with freestyle. Okay, so there's my render layer there. And if I click on the composite, there you can see that the freestyle lines have been applied. And if I zoom in, this, uh, modifier along the stroke, this curve means that these strokes uh, start at zero, go up to uh, a maximum, and then taper off at zero. So each stroke looks as though it's been inked on, okay? You don't get these little flat edges or anything like that. And it looks very much more like a natural inking uh, scenario, all right? So that's really cool. So what is the one caveat here? Well, in cycles, I was able to render this freestyle line pass without any objects behind it so that I could composite it on top of my renders and uh, then, you know, use some compositing tricks. So that's just the one thing that I'm not exactly liking uh, because I do like that level of control at the compositing stage, but you can go in and do all of your uh, 
settings here, like you know your alpha transparency, you drop that, or your base color for your uh, render lines, all of that stuff uh, can be controlled from the freestyle line panel. And then with one render, you get your freestyle on top of that. And that is in Eevee, that's really, really cool. Now, what about that alpha channel? Well, I've created here a, uh, a background plate that if we wanted to, what we could do is, let's uh, bring this background plate over here. Okay, and first off, let's bring our straight render over the top, and that means that we get this background plate behind it. Okay, so if we have the sky color, what that means is that you're not gonna get an alpha, you're just gonna get whatever gray sky color is assigned to Blender, um, and, and you won't have this option to basically composite in any other types of um, backgrounds. You can do the same. Let's just duplicate that alpha channel here. And I'll just drag this over here uh, with a freestyle line pass, okay? Um, now, if you do two renders, then it is possible to composite the two and then just like drop down the opacity on one because you basically got one image over the other and the only difference is that you've got a, a freestyle line pass. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna delete this out over here so that what we can do now is, let's say we added Shift A, a mix RGB node. And I dropped in my first render layer, um, which is the main colors on the top slot and then the one with the freestyle in the bottom slot. Let's drop that into uh, this slot over here. And you'll notice that, you know, it. obviously the freestyle uh, pass is on top, but what you can do is you can reduce that and fade out those freestyle lines because basically you've got the same image underneath but without the freestyle. And so you're sort of doubling up on the renders. But what you can then do is, you know, um, neat little effects like I showed in a, a previous video where you can add in your dilate erode on an alpha channel and set that to distance. And then you can get a set alpha node, drop in the alpha on there and composite that behind your line work so that you can then create your nice thick outline. The one big difference between the passes in Eevee and the passes with cycles is, is as you can see here under passes, we don't have the option to select things like um, environment or um, uh, objects or that sort of thing. And that's the key reason why we can only have this combined render for freestyle, but it isn't entirely useless. So, you know, we can achieve these results very quickly uh, with an EV render and, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with working this way. And so this file is available via my website and the link is in the description below this video. And all you do is once you go to that uh, link, the EV Comic Toon version 2 is the file that you want to click on. And the difference between that and the first one, which I've left up there for comparison purposes, is that this of course only has one scene with two view render layers. I hope you guys got a lot out of that. I hope you guys can uh, now uh, breathe easy and start using some freestyle line passes over your EV Toon shaders um, for your own projects. Thanks for watching, bye for now.